Praise the Lord everyone and welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara and I'm here today and I have a vision I'd like to share with you. Uh, you can join me in the King James Version Study Bible, the New King James. I'm going to be in Revelation chapter 12 uh, verses 10 to 12. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our God day and night, has been cast down, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. So this vision um, I got uh, during the night sometime. I, I had been up for several hours and um, I'll tell you what the vision is. I was standing uh, and I was looking towards uh, a town and the next thing I knew I could see a big giant wave uh, come over like the top of something houses buildings and just wash everything inward and I could see buildings going and I could see people floating by and trees and debris and again I was standing in the water but it, I wasn't getting washed away so I stood there and I watched and then I saw what looked like it all pulled back and I could see all the things on the ground where the water had been. It, it looked like it got all sucked away back again. And I continued uh, to watch. And I heard a loud noise behind me. And I turned around and I could see the waves were like 30 feet high. And I could see the foaming of it was the ocean waves coming again. And in the water that was coming, again, was all debris and everything. What had just been uh, washed forward and sucked out, it was now coming back. But again, I was just standing there. I wasn't wet. I was just watching this, uh, all of this go by me. So as I'm standing there watching it, I, my mouth was probably dropped wide open. I realized I had something in my hand, and it was an envelope. So as all of this is going on around me and the people are going by and there's buildings and trees and logs and debris, I'm looking at an envelope I have in my hand. So I open the envelope and I pull out and it looks like a check that you would pay your groceries with at the grocery store. And the amount of the check was $15.91. So it, that didn't mean anything to me at that point. So I saw it again, and then I saw it again for the third time. The check was fifteen ninety one, and that was the end of the vision. Um, no idea what fifteen ninety one means. So this morning when I got up and I wrote my uh, vision in the book, I came downstairs and I googled uh, fifteen ninety one, and to my surprise, which. It shouldn't be to my surprise because the Lord Jesus, he knows everything. Uh, 1591, uh, I, I think I googled 1591 check or 1591 money and it came up with um, an act, 1591, a government act, uh, that had to do with the fundings to the war on terror and to the troop readiness. And then I also googled, googled it again and it came up as a military standard uh, for it seemed like like an air force or, or something going on with that, but it had to do with military. Um, and again, I'm not sure exactly what the connection with, is to the the 1591 and and a tsunami. That is what I saw the tsunami. Um, so I'm hoping if anyone out there has any uh, uh, interpretation there for that, uh, feel free to leave it as a comment on the bottom of the page. I prayed over it. I'd say probably seven, eight hours today, and I, I didn't get, again, anything further on it, but I did find that very interesting that this is the United States Government Act having to do with the war on terror. Uh, the tsunami, when I was standing there in the water, again, I wasn't wet, 
Um, it, it appeared to be uh, in the United States, wherever the tsunami was. The people that I could see uh, going about their business, they, were, they looked like American people. So again, I want to thank you for tuning in to God's Hiller 7 channel. Um, I've had several very disturbing dreams and visions over the last month. If you've tuned in on here, I've had the asteroid. I've had, in, in the past, I've had just very uh, disturbing things that I've seen, the power outages and so on. So we know something's coming, so I want to say repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Acts 2.38. And again, I want to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. I have two videos up on that. I get a lot of questions on it. That is my prophecy time from the Lord. I am to proclaim that until that date. Um, I'm not saying that it's the end at that date, the next day. I, I don't know what's going to happen the next day. But I will say this. Uh, Brother Dan has a prophecy time from the Lord just like I do, and his goes beyond 2015. So again, uh, thank you for tuning in to God's Hiller 7 channel. Have a blessed day today. I pray that all your families are safe and in good health. Praise the Lord.